What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders Awakened and my alt playthrough. Uh, we're on Act 2 now and we are going to be headed into the Tornado Highlands, but I wanted to take a look through my stats first. Uh, definitely coming a long way here. Uh, I pumped a few more points into range for those harpoons and uh, this is a look at my squire. I'm not really going into any fort on the walls. I've got 10 points in there. But, you know, obviously if I was just walling with the Squire, I'd want all of my points directly into Fort. Now on my Huntress, uh, we're sitting at 44 Fort, 37 power, 14 range, and 8 rate. The Apprentice. I'm not building any Apprentice Towers right now. I'm just going full on DPS. So I've got everything dumped into the attack value on the Apprentice. And then the Monk, starting to round out a little bit more as well. I got some fatty fatty range now on well, my monk auras with my 33 points into range so you see we are starting the journey to big boy auras that's for sure but anyway let's hop on in and get things started uh once again we are on the tornado highlands let's get it tornado highlands here we go now this is a big map there's lots to go, there's lots to do on it, but it's also got tons of areas for me to fall off and die, and that, uh, sadly, is something I tend to do quite frequently on this map. Uh, let's take a look and see what we've got for Wave 1. We've got 350 mana, so let's go ahead and wall it up everywhere and see what we have left. Now, one benefit you have, these three lanes over here are all going to be blocked just right here at this bridge, so you can set up one area to kill everything here that uh, gate that gate and that gate are all going to come directly here now over on this side however we've got uh, two very very separate paths how do we want to do this one i think this one we can just straight up spawn camp it let's uh, go with like a wall right there and here the natural choke is probably Actually, it would probably be like right here on the stairs, but I think I'm going to push it down a little further. And we'll go for a little mini spawn camp there as well. Now that leaves me 230 DU. How do we want to get things started here? Well, first off, we don't have a lot of opportunities based on where I put my walls for harpoons. Now I could move this wall all the way back to here, but that's just so close to the core and it worries me a little bit. If I moved it back to here, this would be a really good harpoon lane. But I think for this map, just to get through it, we are going to go back to using kind of good old faithful, which is traps and auras. So with 230, what do we want to do? Well, let's set this side up. So let's go with, um, let's actually go with a full aura stack. So we're going to go an ensnare and electric and a strength drain and just let that lane kind of handle itself. I've got 90 left. So with 90 left, I think we'll go uh, what, with an Electric Aura and then an Ensnare, and we'll get a Strength Drain on this lane later. Now that means that these two far lanes, I'm going to have to just DPS those down, which I'm not sure that's what I want to do. I kind of want to hang out here. Uh, this is where most of the action should take place with the three lanes converging into one. But, you know, Wave 1, you got to do what you got to do to get on through it. And we're going to have to manually kill everything over here. There's a few of the little Gobus will die to the spike blockade damage. But for the most part, we're going to have to put in all the work over on this side of the map. And that wall just got beat up. One of the downsides to not putting any health on your walls. They are flimsy. Flimsy, flimsy walls. couple of archers only five mobs left where are they at looks like they're all over here so we got some stuck mobs this is a normal occurrence on this map uh, mobs will get stuck right at the bottom of that ramp it's like they're afraid they're afraid to come up the ramp I'm not really sure is there's not I guess there's that slight little edge there that maybe they're clipping on and uh, causing them to get stuck there all right let's see first things first let's get our strength drain here on this one just to get the basics of the build down here since it looks like our spam is going to be where we're at on this particular run 
Let's uh, get our Auras spammed up properly. Right out of the gates. Let's get that one repaired. We'll get this lane jacked up with uh, the triple stack. What about over here? Here we got just a lovely opportunity just to really camp them right at the spawn. What's that going to leave me? That leaves me, what, 26 DU. Now, part of me instinctively feels like dumping the 26 DU into this lane, because over there is where I actually want to fight. So I think I'm going to do that. Let's pump a little bit more DU into this lane right here. And what can we do? Well, here we got a, just that spawn camp opportunity. Might as well take advantage of it. Let's go uh, explosive trap. And you know what? Let's get an Inferno right in front of it. Uh, since we've got the Strength Drain Aura, anything that comes out that's immune to fire is going to get just burnt up. Only 44 left. Uh, we're just going to have to stick with uh, just one Splody for now for that wave. And uh, let's go ahead and get it. We actually had a little mana left laying over here. I could have snagged. And that wasn't too entirely much, so. And you see uh, the greens are definitely filling out. Getting some nice pieces, too. I mean, that right there, two fort, three power, one range. That is a, a immensely powerful piece at this early state of the game. Yeah, this is where I wanted to fight. And the reason I wanted to fight here is this is just where the action is. You know, you got three lanes converging into one. There's just going to be a lot of mobs here, so... Why not choose this lane as the place that we're going to bring the pain and help our defenses out to get through this one? This is a gorgeous map. I think they did a really good job with it. Uh, it seems like it was definitely designed to uh, make me fall into these traps of looking over edges because there is just some gorgeous scenery around. And they did do just a fantastic job with this map, no doubt. See, five bombs left. Is it our five? Yeah, it looks like it's our five. Uh, stuck down here at the bottom of the ramp. Once again, quite the normal occurrence on this map. Uh, in all game modes, really, survival. Uh, a lot of mobs just love getting stuck on that lane. All right, now what did we have here? We had uh, an Inferno out front. Let's put the Inferno right here. I think we'll just repair the RS for now. We've got 12 more DU to spend. And I think... You know, it looks like we don't really need any repairs up there. I think the place to spend it is here. And then that's going to allow me to really spend my time over on that other lane. So let's go with a uh, Splody at the wall. We'll get an Inferno up front. Get these RS repaired up. Uh, that leaves me 5 DU. What can we do with 5? Uh, there's not a ton that we can do, but you know what, I guess we could throw something else in down here. You know what, let's just go with yet one more Inferno right here back at the wall. I am going to separate these apart enough where they don't chain. Uh, I don't want these chaining up. But now we've got some uh, fire damage at the wall as well, and it really should make it so we can ignore that map. Now, I do want to focus on leveling up, and although the XP you get is just not a big deal, by using all of the DU and getting that additional XP bonus is definitely something. So I'm just going to throw an apprentice wall over here, just to make sure I've got all of the DU being used. And then, you know what, to be honest with you, I feel like this middle lane here is the lane where I really, really need to focus the upgrades. I've got 300. Let's hit, uh, actually, let's hit all three traps on that lane. That should give me a nice little boost in power. But uh, let's check out wave number three here and see how it goes. Now, 250 mobs, so we definitely, the mob count is starting to creep up a bit. The downside to choking everything off at this one bridge is it gives the mobs in those two lanes just such a long, long way to walk. Uh, making the map, of course, run just a little bit slower. But we're getting it. We are getting it, no doubt. Now, 
Let me go ahead and hit that uh, strength drain there, just because it is taking so much. So many charges burning off. I do want to get some upgrades into the electric R, though, since the electric R's are putting in so much work here. You see all those little 124s ticking. Uh, well, you know, that's that electric R. So it's putting a lot of damage out there. Just need to get some upgrades in, since we don't have a whole lot of power on it. My ensnare R is getting worked, too. No fort for the loss. These R's are getting just chewed on. We should be able to survive it, though. Oh no! And there we go. Is that my first death? I don't think that's my first death of this series. <laughs> but it was inevitable. This map gets me every damn time. For some reason, I refuse to look behind me when jumping backwards. It's just one of those things. Alright, now we're sitting on 700 now, so let's hit all of this stuff. Wow, look at how much that electric R took. Woo! Crazy damage. Not actual damage, just the charges are burning, but that would be the product of not having uh, enough fort, or really any fort, on my stuff. Let's see, let's hit these bad boys. They should be good and juicy. And then let's jump up here and get this uh, this spawn camp lane dialed in. Let's go with the Inferno, the Strength Drain, and the Electric. And then I'll just repair... Oh, that's a gas trap. I did not mean to put a gas trap there. I wanted that to be a splody. There we go. Well, we got a fresh splody down now. We'll throw an upgrade on it. And that's about all we can do. So, let's just get it. Wave 4, here we go. I'm still going to hang out on that uh, triple lane here. This is definitely where, if I have any major issues or breakdowns, this is where it's going to occur. Wow, look at that Inferno. It is just out DPS in that Electric Aura like a mofo. Well, I got knocked off that time. I'm going to go ahead and uh, blame that one on the Gobus. <laughs> I got I got got uh, my knees taken out right as I was jumping with the knockback. Vicious little gobus, just plain vicious. We got a little Delf action here. We're getting through them. Uh, the electric car is just not putting out much damage, but. Looking at that Inferno go to town down there, it just makes me think. Why would I just not go with Inferno's over an Electric Aura? That's just crazy good. Uh, we see that Strength Drain is just getting just annihilated here. Every mob that goes into it is just draining it so, so fast. In fact, I'm not even going to survive the wave on it. I better get a repair gun. I wonder how the others are doing. The others seem fine. It looks like the Inferno Traps are starting to lose some charges. But boy, this strength drain here just got torn up. I might have to throw another upgrade on it. Let's see, we've got 800 now. Let's go ahead and upgrade the electric and the strength drain one more time. Just going to repair that ensnare. And then we've got a bunch of mana sitting, so we'll be able to get some repairs and ups in these other places as well. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. I'm going to repair the rest of this stuff. This, uh, this lane here is just not that big of a deal. It's, you know, not a super heavy lane. All right, we got 394 left. What do we want to do? I, I just feel like I want to put it into this main lane. That strength drain is just getting just chewed, chewed, chewed up. I can't afford an upgrade there, but I can... What can I do? I can't really do much. Hmm. I feel like it's a waste to throw anything into this lane, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Let's throw uh, a couple of ups around over here, and that should handle that. And let's go ahead and get Wave 5 pump in here. So we got 469 mobs now, so it's a nice healthy mob count. I've got a feeling that this Strength Drain might just get devastated here throughout the course of this wave. But it's the last one. All we need to do is survive, and it's GG's, so. As long as we can't survive. 
2 times 37. Wow. That one is such a better roll than what I've got, but it would cost double the amount of gold I have just to get it upgraded to 5 projectiles. So I'm going to leave that bad boy alone. Uh, as you see, we've got an ogre coming in. good news there is we've got the strength drain and the ensnare so that ogre is not going to be hitting this wall super hard I should be able to just chillax behind it and burn that bad boy down how are we doing on the other lanes other lanes are looking good it looks like this needs to be my focus uh, big fatty ogre just about here yeah you stand there and smack on that wall Mr. Ogre and I will just slowly but surely chew away all of your health. That's just gonna happen. So down to 65k now. We got a little ways to go, but we'll get them, we'll get them. This one shouldn't burn too terribly slow. Not uh, the best dodge in the world right there. 35k now. Let's go ahead and hit, uh, let's hit that strength drain just to be safe. Don't want to have any uh, any last minute issues here. We still have 90 bombs rolling out. Just about there. I'm just gonna let that ensnare our die. I'm not sweating it. As the ogre is just about done. And what's left? We got four mobs left. It looks like there's damage ticking off down here. And there we go. We got the victory level 21 now. So we're getting leveled up as well and getting some nice loot. Uh, let's take a look and see what we got in the chest here. Anything good? Uh, that's a pretty nice piece. I'm not actually using any guard armor, but wow, that would probably be my best builder, builder piece I have found so far. I may have to switch somebody over. We will have to see. There's a pretty decent staff as well. Oh, wow, that is a big boy upgrade over what I have. But, once again, it comes down to the gold. I just don't have the gold to upgrade it. So, I may end up switching to that one. Because this one here, even just getting it up to three projectiles, is going to out-DPS the one I have. And that would only take a few upgrades. So, I may switch to that bad boy here coming up. But, that will do it for this episode. And we are now halfway through Act Number 2. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to click that like button and please subscribe. Uh, hopefully we get some more news sometime soon on Dungeon Defenders Awaken and what direction its development is going. Uh, as we all know, it's still got a ways to go, but I've got my fingers crossed that it's going to still turn into an absolutely wonderful game. So thank you all once again, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.